Welcome to Dartmoor. It's a bit wild today. It's wet, it's windy, but it could be ideal conditions for landscape photography. But I tell you what it also is ideal conditions for, testing out a new tripod. I've got this Kingjoy C83 carbon fiber tripod. So in this video, I'm gonna be taking some landscape photographs and I'll tell you a little bit about this new tripod. So what can you expect in this video? Well, I'll tell you one thing you can definitely expect, and that's probably changing lighting conditions. It seems to change about every five minutes or so, but that's gonna be a good thing, because at the moment it's quite dull and I need a little bit of light, but hopefully I won't have to wait too long. So yes, I am gonna be taking some landscape photographs of this area here, this is Bear Down Tours. I've been here once before, uh, quite a little while ago, and I've been dying to come back, so I finally found the time to come back out here. It's near Princeton, so it's a little bit of a drive for me. It's not the closest of tours. And I'm gonna talk about tripods as well. So I'm gonna tell you about why I use a tripod, obviously. Then I'm gonna tell you a little bit about the specs of this one, the Kingjoy C83 carbon fiber. And then at the end of this video, I'll tell you what I think of it. Why do I use a tripod? Well, principal reason is, and I use a tripod 99% of the landscape photographs that I take, uh, is for stability. Put that down, camera goes on there, allows you to use any shutter speed that you want. Also slows me down, allows me to fine tune my composition. Now I'm not saying that every photographer needs to use a, every landscape photographer needs to use a tripod all the time. Clearly there are always reasons why you might want to shoot some handheld shots. But for me, I wouldn't leave home without a tripod. Most of my shots, like I say, are taken with one. I also tend to use a geared head as well. That really allows me to slow things down and tune in my composition precisely the way I like it. So for me, a tripod, particularly a good stable tripod, is an essential bit of gear. So before I tell you about the specifications of this tripod, let me tell you why I've got this particular tripod. I'm actually in the market for a new tripod. I haven't bought one for a good few years now. And since I bought that last tripod, my needs have changed, so I'm looking to get a slightly different specification tripod. Now, I've not in any hurry, so I've been doing my research over the last few months, but during that time, Kingjoy reached out to me and said, would you like to try our C83 tripod? And I said, well, actually, yeah, I'm looking for a new tripod. Send me one out, please, and I'll do a little review of it. Now, this is a loan unit. I've got to send this back. This isn't mine. So I only have this for a short period of time. Um, so I'm going to share my thoughts with you based on what I from today and from the other shoots that I've done with this tripod. Hmm, here comes the sun again. Brilliant. Where was I? Yes. So they have sent me this out. It's not mine. I've got to send it back, but they haven't asked me to say anything. Quite interested to see what they're like. Okay, let's take some time to talk about the specifications of this Kingjoy C83 carbon fiber tripod. So it weighs 1.3 kilograms and is made of carbon fiber. The legs have four sections and it has a maximum height of 132 centimeters. That's excluding any head you put on it. Folded down, it's 48 centimeters. The legs can also be adjusted so the tripod almost sits on the ground. It has a hook in the middle one of the legs has a rubber grip. There are attachment points on the top of the tripod. But best of all, and please, other tripod manufacturers take note, this tripod comes with spikes. It comes with rubber feet and spikes, allowing you to change them out whenever you want. So that's great for places like here on windy Dartmoor or on sandy beaches. Right, that is quite enough tripod chit chat for now. We really got to go on with the business captions and photographs. The weather has cleared up a little bit. Clouds broken up, the lights coming in and out. I think it's time to take some landscape photographs. And then after that, I'll tell you what I think about this tripod. Right, let's get going. Right, I do hope you can hear me because it's very windy up here. I've had to come up on top of the tour just to get the light because down where I was, where it was shaded, there wasn't, uh, it, was, it was quiet because there was no wind, but there wasn't uh, much in the way of light to take pictures. So I've got this composition here, which is really benefiting from the light that's coming across it at the moment. It's catching the side of the tour there. 
and across its ridges. And in particular, I've got this foreground, which has got the Dartmoor grass here, which has got that beautiful golden colour like it does at this time of year. It's just catching the light. It's going to be a bit of movement. I don't mind so much. I mean, it's possibly a slightly unconventional uh, composition. I'm not 100% sure with it, but it's catching the light and I'm getting nice colours. So I'm going to take it anyway. There's a bit of drama in the sky. There we go. I tell you, it's just, it's days like this, you definitely, definitely need a tripod, particularly one with spikes in. Woo, it's windy. Anyway, I've got the shot. I'm going to head over to one of the other rock stacks now to see what we can find. Obviously, I've come up here because it's windy, because I do like to challenge myself when I'm making videos. I like to make life as difficult as possible. But anyway, the reason I've come up here is the composition. So I've got this beautiful view down the tour here. I've got the light coming from the sun here. It's catching all the rocks and the grasses. But then in the background, I've got the hills as well, the rolling hills of Dartmoor. And they're also catching the light. And the clouds coming in, and it's catching the light. I do love a bit of light, especially in Dartmoor. So I'll line up my composition. This is why I love using a tripod, particularly with a geared head. It slows me down, I can be precise with my composition. Two second timer, quick playback. Yeah, I like that. The light is fading fast, but I think there's just one more composition I can get. Let's go and take a look. I suspect this will be my last composition. That sun's not far from going down below the horizon. I'm not 100% convinced with this one, to be honest. I've got quite a lot of grass here, which I normally like, but it's not really adding too much to the composition. The real interest here is these rock formations up here. They're just catching the light as the sun sets and we've got a big bank of cloud coming over. There's a little bit of rain in the sky. Might even get one last rainbow. You, you never know. I'm not, but like I say, having a look, I'm not convinced that it's a great composition. What I might do though, is I might head up there in a second to see if I can shoot down into the hills or even shoot back this way. Still got a few options yet, I think. So I've just come up on top of that rock like I thought I was gonna do. I've already taken the shot, so, because the sun was just dipping below the horizon. In fact, it's just dipped below now. But I'll tell you about the shot that I just took anyway. So I've got the long line of rocks down there out to the distance. I've shot it vertical. I think it's gonna be slightly better in the vertical, though I did shoot both, I always shoot both. And it was catching the light from the, the sun. It was a bit more of an open composition. Didn't, that one over there felt, oh, I just felt, didn't feel quite right to me. And then I've got a big sky though, so I've got the cloud coming across and it was just catching the last of the light. But anyway, it was a shot worth taking and I'll pop it up on the screen just now. Well, that's the photography done. I think that was worth coming out for. I had a bit of excitement there. I think this is a, a, a location I'm gonna to need to come back to as well, because it's quite expansive. There's quite a lot of work to be done. It's only my second time here, so I was a little bit running the boat trying to find stuff. I might come back here uh, for sunrise next time, actually. So yeah, stay tuned. You might see another video from this location. But anyway, now that we've done the photography, uh, I'm gonna find, try and find a shelter spot, and I'll tell you what I think about that Kingjoy tripod. Okay, back to tripod chit chat, and I'm gonna to have to do it pretty fast, because it is getting dark here the light has really dropped away anyway the king joy c83 carbon fiber tripod what do i think of it well i have to say i really like it in fact i actually don't want to give it back this is a loan unit i have to give it back but i do want to get one i have to say things i like about it compact size fits just on the side of my bag it comes with tripod spikes so if, as a, a landscape photographer who works in windy places like dartmoor or down at the beach having these that are included with the tripod that you're not gonna get stiffed to pay even more. Brilliant. I love these legs as well. Nice and smooth. No problems at all getting that tripod extended and put away again. It might be lightweight, but even with this carbon fiber uh, 
construction with my head, my Nikon Z7 and my 24 to 120, that would be my heaviest loadout. That's well underneath the weight limit. Still feels really sturdy, even up in windy conditions up here on Dartmoor or down at the beach. So I have no problems with that. And, and the height is just about perfect for me as well. So I think in terms of balance between sort of weight, size, it's a pretty good, pretty good deal. And like I say, you get things like the, the tripod spikes as well. And these legs go out nice and low as well. So I guess if you're into a bit of um, macro photography and stuff like that, that will come in super handy. Now, the only thing I can't talk about is durability. Obviously this is a loan unit. I've only had it a short period of time. There's nothing here to indicate that it's not well-made. It certainly feels well-made, but that's the only thing I guess I can't comment on. Other than that, yeah, like I say, I definitely get one. I'm, I'm really tempted to get one of these, the Kingjoy C83 carbon fiber. There you have it. It's getting really dark here. And as soon as that sun went down, the light really dropped off. So I'm gonna make a, a beeline for the car. But I do hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you just like landscape photography and you enjoyed watching me getting blown about Dartmoor, or you want to learn more about this, I think is rather fantastic little uh, tripod, the Kingjoy C83 carbon fiber. Oh, if you want to get one, I'll include a link for it in the video description below, obviously. But I hope you've enjoyed this adventure. And if you have, like, comment, share, all that great stuff. And if you want to see more videos from myself as I get blown about Dartmoor and other locations, uh, I'll include a couple of playlists in the corner of the screen as well. So if you've got an extra few minutes, I would uh, appreciate it if you watch those as well. It really helps the channel. But other than that, uh, I'm gonna get out of here, I think. It's getting well dark. Thank you again for joining me, and I'll see you next time.